Apple, Nvidia, Google, Amazon. These are the names everyone knows, but here's the shocker. Every single one of them relies on a company that you've probably never heard of, a company that manufactures more than 90% of the world's most advanced chips. Chips that run your iPhones, powers ChatGPT, guides fighter jets and keeps the entire AI revolution alive. And yet this company has no consumer products, no advertising, no brand presence in your life. If it falls, global technology collapses overnight. This is the story of TSMC, the most important company you have never heard of in the AI race. By the end of the story, you'll understand why this company is the unseen backbone of the global tech industry, how it powers the AI revolution, why its location makes it a geopolitical flashpoint and how of all it ties back to the financial markets. In short, we are pulling back the curtain on the company that holds the future of technology in its hands. We have divided the story in chapters. Each chapter reveals a different side of the quiet giant. From its beginnings as an industry outlier to its position today as the backbone of an artificial intelligence, and the global economy. Think of it as stepping through a series of doors. With every chapter, you'll see just how deep TSMC's influence runs and why this company matters far more than most people realize. Chapter 1. The Radical Idea When TSMC was founded in 1987 by Morris Chang, the industry laughed at the idea. Back then, chip companies like Intel or Taxes Instruments did everything under one roof. They designed the chips, manufactured them in their own factories, and sold them under their own brands. The belief was simple. If you didn't own the factory, you weren't a real player. Chang flipped that logic. He built TSMC as a pure play foundry, a company that would only manufacture chips for others, but never designed its own. The single choice changed everything. It meant small startups could actually compete without spending billions on factories. Nvidia, Qualcomm, and Apple grew because they didn't have to own fabs. TSMC would build their designs. Equally important, TSMC promised never to compete with its customers. That neutrality turned it into the trusted Switzerland of semiconductors. What started as an experiment quickly became the backbone of an entirely new industry model and set the stage for TSMC's dominance today. Chapter 2 Building technological supremacy once TSMC gained traction, it built a lead that's almost impossible to close. Today, the company manufactures over 90% of the world's most advanced chips, defined as 7 nanometers and below. It is the only company producing 3 nanometer chips at scale and by late 2025, it plans to move into 2 nanometer technology with a brand new transistor design. The secret behind this supremacy is a self-reinforcing cycle. By aggregating demand from hundreds of customers, TSMC can run its factories at higher capacity, keeping costs lower than its rivals. The profits then flow directly back into research and massive capital spending close to a trillion dollars in 2024 alone. Technology like extreme ultraviolet lithography using machines that cost over $200 million each is another barrier to entry. Now, these tools are so complex that only one company, ASML in Netherlands, can make them and TSMC is their most important customer. Access to this cutting-edge equipment combined with decades of process and know-how has created a technological mode that even Intel struggles to cross. Chapter 3 powering the AI revolution. The surge of artificial intelligence has created a hunger for computing power unlike anything before. Training large language models, running real-time interference for autonomous cars, or processing billions of data points in cloud, all of it depends on specialized high-performance chips, and almost every one of those chips is manufactured by TSMC. NVIDIA's GPUs, including the H100 and the next generation B100, come straight out of TSMC's factories, and AMD's MI300X accelerators, Apple's M-series chips, Google's Tensor processors, and Amazon's Graviton all rely on the same source. For the AI industry, TSMC is not just important, it is irreplaceable. Even advanced packaging, the step that allows multiple chips and memory stacks to work together at incredible speeds, is an area where TSMC leads. Its COWoS technology has become a necessity for AI accelerators. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang summed it up best. TSMC is world's best by a mile. Without TSMC, there is no chat GPT, no iPhone, no autonomous driving revolution. It is the invisible engine of AI. Chapter 4. The Quiet Strategy of Obscurity For a company so critical, TSMC is almost invisible to average person. That's not by accident, it's by design. 
TSMC doesn't just sell products under its own brand. Instead, it exists to make its customers look good. Well, Apple unveils a new iPhone with a 3 nanometer chip. The spotlight goes to Apple. When Nvidia launches a cutting edge GPU, Nvidia takes the credit. TSMC stays in the background, the quiet strategy that has worked for decades. It has built trust with clients who know TSMC will never compete with them, but it has also kept the company out of public consciousness. Most people have no idea that the chips inside that their laptops or cars and even fighter jets are born in TSMC labs. The pandemic era chip shortage changed that. Suddenly, headlines pointed to one company at the center of global supply chain chaos. And for the first time, the world realized that how dependent modern life had become on a single quiet giant. Chapter 5. Geopolitics and the Silicon Shield Now, TSMC's dominance comes with a vulnerability that no technology can fix, its location. Almost all of its most advanced factories sit in Taiwan, just 100 miles from mainland China. For Beijing, Taiwan is a renegade province. For the world, it's the beating heart of modern technology. This has led to what analysts call the Silicon Shield. The logic is simple. The world is so reliant on TSMC that any conflict threatening its labs would be an economic catastrophe for everyone, including China. In a sense, chips have become Taiwan's most powerful form of deterrence. Still, the risk is real. That is why the United States passed the Chips Act to bring manufacturing home. TSMC is building multi-billion dollar labs in Arizona, Japan, and Germany, yet replacing Taiwan's ecosystem of suppliers, engineers, and decades of know-how is nearly impossible. Even Warren Buffet, who praised TSMC as one of the best run companies in the world, sold his stake not because of the business, but because of the location. Chapter 6, A Financial Powerhouse. The world's most advanced technology, as it turns out, rests on one of the world's most fragile fault lines. And yet, TSMC has built one of the strongest financial engines in global markets. The numbers speak for themselves. In 2024, the company reported over $90 billion in revenue, a 30% jump from the previous year. By mid-2025, the revenues were already up another 37%, well above its own forecast. High-performance computing, chips built for AI, has become its largest growth driver, accounting for more than half of the total revenue. Management expects this segment to double in 2025 alone and grow at a blistering 50% annual rate over the next five years. Margins that would make most manufacturers jealous add to the story. TSMC's gross margin stands at 56%, with an operating margin of nearly 46%. In 2024, it generated 870 billion new Taiwan dollars in free cash flow, almost tripling from the year before and poured nearly 956 billion back in new factories and R&D. The stock has reflected its strength. In 2025, shares surged 59% and more than double the broader semiconductor index. Yet, here's the twist. It still trades at a discount, around 22 times forward earnings, far below US peers like Nvidia. The reason? Geopolitical risk. Investors can't ignore the shadow of Taiwan. For optimists, the discount is an opportunity. For realists, it's a reminder that even the world's most indispensable company carries a risk no balance sheet can erase. Chapter 7. The Bigger Picture So what does all of this mean for you? First, it shows just how fragile the foundations of a digital world really are. Every phone call, every AI model, every car with a computer inside, it all depends on one company most people have never heard of. Second, for investors, TSMC highlights both risk and opportunity. Its financial strength and technological dominance are unmatched. Yet the geopolitical discount on its stock is a constant reminder that markets don't just price business performance, they price uncertainty. And finally, for governments and policymakers, TSMC isn't just a company, its infrastructure, its national security, and its leverage in the most important geopolitical rivalry of our time. The future of AI and perhaps the future of global economy runs through its factories, the story of TSMC is proof that the most powerful companies aren't always the ones in the spotlight. While Apple and Nvidia grab headlines, it's TSMC that quietly holds the future together. Its technology is unmatched, its role in AI is irreplaceable, and its risks are global in scale. For investors, for nations, and for everyday people, the lesson is clear. The true backbone of progress is often invisible until the moment it fails. If you found this breakdown useful, consider subscribing. We deep dive into stories like this, companies, ideas, and trends that quietly shape the world around us. The goal is simple, to give you clear, structured insights you can't get from headlines. Stick with us and you'll always know what really drives the markets. 
Subscribe to appreciate now. Thank you so much for watching. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.